up fam it's your boy hot sauce beats bringing you another thursday night reaction marathon my absolute fucking favorite night of the week but this just ain't any normal thursday night no it's fucking special because we are doing something that i've never done before and that's two full album reactions in one night i just finished reacting to logic's new album no pressure and i gotta say he's fucking going out with a bang album was really fucking dope after you're done watching this go ahead and check out my reaction to logic's new album but right fucking now we're about to do a full I'm reaction to the Kid Leroy's new album, Fuck Love. Other than Juice World's new album, this is one that I've probably been the most excited for just because I'm a massive Kid Leroy fan. So with that being said, please help support the channel by hitting that subscribe and like button and then hit that notification bell too and join the best fucking family on YouTube. But I'm done fucking yakking. Let's get to reacting. Now that's what the fuck is up. Woo! We got track one, booty call. I hope y'all motherfuckers ready. Let's get it. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Like, this is literally how our conversations go. Tell me this doesn't sound weird. If you were a girl, you would think this shit was weird when you feel like responding. Why don't you come over? You come over. Like, come, like that shit's so weird. Literally a booty call. That is the definition of a booty call. I'm a hoe and I'm not a hoe. Like, I shit happy. I, was, I do things to <laughs> He like, ain't I'm saying so nothing. Like, I don't deserve that. I'm sorry. But like, what? Kid Leroy, you being a little player, homie. Come on now. You better than that. I mean, actually, if I was in Kid Leroy's shoes, I'd probably be doing the same fucking thing, man. Kid's way too young to be worrying about finding in this forever. He's always got to have his mind on album mode. What's the next step to first? Further his career and be more and more successful, and he can't have no woman tying him the fuck down. Keep doing your thing, Killer Roy. Next track two, maybe. Let's get into this motherfucker. Drown my sorrows in this bottle. Won't I wake you? God, he's got such a good voice. And you don't need me like I need you. So if I go, maybe I'll free you. Not even you can fix my problem. Like you once did, I'm too hollow. If it's me or if it's Come you, on, bro. You this ain't even right how good he is. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. His voice. I mean, it's crazy how fucking good he is. He's amazing at singing. Needs absolutely no fucking auto-tune. And he's a hell of a fucking rapper. And he's only 16 motherfucking years old. Like, what? Like, he is literally the child prodigy of fucking hip-hop. I, I mean, just can you imagine where he's going to be in 10 years? <laughs> Right? And then that beat was absolutely fucking insane. I mean, that shit got me vibing like a motherfucker. And if this is any indication what the album's gonna be like, we are in for a motherfucking treat. And yes, I cuss a lot. Next, track three, Wrong, featuring Lil Mosey. And another little tidbit of information for you, Internet Money also produced this motherfucker. Let's get it. Woo! Slow motherfucking clap, yo. Bro, great fucking feature from Lil Mosey. Perfectly fit that song. Internet money, just they don't miss at all when they make fucking beats. And you know that's gonna be a long lasting relationship. Internet money and the Kid Leroy making motherfucking magic together. Uh, so yeah, that beat was absolutely fucking crazy. The Kid Leroy murdered that motherfucker. And he had a super catchy fucking hook, which is gonna be stuck in my head on motherfucking day tomorrow when I'm trying to stay awake. And Lil Mosey brought that fucking heat 
on this track as well. This song finna be a fucking hit. Also, again with another little tidbit for you, Internet Money also produced this track. Like if one wasn't enough, and if two wasn't enough, they've done three because they also produced track number eight. Next, track four, I wish. Come on, let's get this bitch. <laughs> A crazy ass motherfucking statement. It is my professional opinion that LaKid Leroy makes better hooks than Sway Lee. I know! I'm fucking crazy, dude. And he just, he has a fucking way when he sings, man. It just, it's infectious. You can't not like the Kid Leroy. I mean, just, it's literally fucking, it's, his hooks just fuck your ears, dude. That's how good they are. You feel like your ears are being made love to. I know that sounds weird. I'm honest with you guys. I just tell you how it is. I Wish is a great fucking song. I got a feeling that we are really in for a fucking treat with this album because we got shit like this man this song's fucking beautiful dude next track five not fair featuring corbin come on now <laughs> than the one before, and the one before was already a dope fucking song. Again, I just gotta remind you guys, he's fucking 16 years old! And who the fuck is this Corbin guy? Are you shit me, bro? Damn! That's all I can say! Damn, Gina! I'm really getting fucking heartburn tonight, man. My body can't take this excitement. I felt like I was at a concert, man. I needed a lighter to just wave that bitch side to side. I mean, that was a total fucking vibe. And somebody's heart got fucking broke. I don't know if it was Kid Leroy, because from the skit we heard in the beginning, he's playing women, he's just got booty calls, but some Someone's fucking heart got broken and I feel bad for him because that shit was sad. Great fucking song. That melody was absolutely fucking beautiful. Set the whole tone for the song and really as amazing as Kid Leroy sounded, Corbin really fucking stole the show on this one. I'm gonna have to check out more of his shit because he sounds fucking amazing and I'll fuck with this track. Next, track six, Bathroom. It's a skit. You have one new voice message. Are you fucking serious? You can't say that's not your fucking bathroom. I see the great house and I see the Clone in your background. You're a fucking piece of shit, Charleston. Kid Leroy, come on, bro. You gotta stop playing these women. If these are girls from your fucking school, man, you gotta be careful, because that means they know where you fucking live, and they could get you. I'm telling you, bro, watch yourself. That skit was pretty good. Next, track seven, Go, featuring Juice World. I already did a full song reaction to this. I'll put the link in the description. Check it out. This song is fucking amazing, and it's one of the best viewed videos I've had in the last couple months, so check it the fuck out. Next, track eight, Tell Me Why. This is another one that I've done the full song reaction to. Cole Bennett slash Lyrical Lemonade actually did the music video for this one. I'll have the link to my reaction in the description. This one you absolutely gotta fucking check out. The song's amazing. The Kid Leroy dedicated this song to Juice World, and it was also the first song he did after Juice World passed away. If you wanna listen to a song that's gonna get you in your feelings, check this one out. But at the same time, check out my fucking reaction. Link in the description. And Internet Money produces track as well. Next, track nine, same thing. I'm fucking ready. I got something to confess. I ain't been doing my best, but neither have you go. I don't even lie, girl, I'm sick of the lies and the games you play. I don't, I don't. Woo, all the little things that you do behind my back, girl, I know. But I can't be mad, cause I'll do the same thing. I do the same thing. 
I mean, we really might have like a classic album in the fucking works here. Great fucking beat. Kid Leroy absolutely fucking killed it. Oh shit, and another thing I meant to say in the beginning, Kid Leroy literally wrote every fucking lyric. He had no co-writers. He wrote every lyric to every fucking song himself. And remember, he's 16. What the fuck, dude? And I liked how this one just kind of had like a, just like a smooth little fucking bounce to it, man. It was just, it was refreshing. I liked it. Dope fucking song. Next, track 10, new guy, another skit. What's up? Where you at? What are you doing? I miss you. Booty call. Leroy. Well, I don't call this number no more. <laughs> What? <laughs> Who this? Leroy. Leroy? I'm really digging these fucking skits. And honestly, I wish more artists would do it. I just know when I was younger, like, every fucking album had, like, two or three skits. Something to just kind of break up and change up the pace of the album. I'm liking this. I'm glad he's fucking doing it. And I'm enjoying it. Next. Track 11, Erase You. Track 11, Erase You. Let's get this shit. <laughs> years old. The dude's what? A sophomore in fucking high school. I mean, come on. 10th fucking grade? He's making shit like this? M mind you, I just I just want to I just want you guys to remember. We're literally on track 11. Now, yes, three of them have been skits, but they have not had a bad song yet. And I'm really starting to see the picture that he's fucking painting, dude. So I think Kid Leroy was not a player. Did not have booty calls. I think he had the first love of his life. And I'm guessing she fucking broke his motherfucking heart and then stepped on that motherfucker. So then he said he's done. No more. Not again. I will not be tied down by another woman because she's gonna break my fucking heart. So he erased her, erased all of them, and now he's only got booty calls. I see what you're doing. Hey man, I understand. Getting your heart broke fucking sucks. So you gotta protect yourself. Erase you. Beautiful fucking song. Instrumental was absolutely fucking amazing. That guitar melody set the whole fucking tone of the song, allowing Kid Leroy to lay down something fucking beautiful. Next, track 12, running. I'm fucking ready. another one of my favorites for this fucking album. And like I said about the song before, I mean, this this whole album, man, it's just about him getting his fucking heart broken. When that shit happens, it inspires you, and that's what you fucking pour your heart and soul into when you're making fucking music. And he's doing a great job of painting the picture so we can feel and hear his fucking pain. And I hear it! Feel it! Who hurts you, Kid Leroy? Who fucking hurts you, bro? But I mean, real talk, I bet you she's fucking hating herself because the Kid Leroy is blowing up. She realizes she fucking fucked up and lost her sugar daddy. You had your chance, girl. You fucked up. One of the things I really liked about running, that hook had a crazy fucking cadence. I really enjoyed it. Uh, running back to you. You, you, you. I mean, listen to this fucking hook, dude. I just keep on running back to you. I mean, come on. That's definitely one of my favorites on the album. Next, track 13, Wish You Well, another skit. What you think's gonna happen? About to be about a woman. <laughs> These phone calls are awesome. That's crazy. This is what you want to do? Are you serious? This is what you did. That's why I can't do this anymore. I really do wish you the best, though. Yeah, if I could give you any voice, Kid Leroy, stay away from them. Stay away from that girl. She's no good. She's just gonna pull you into a web of lies, some fucking drama, and you don't need that shit. Cause you about to have a fucking Billboard Top 10 album. I mean, seriously. And that's what he's fucking heading towards, topping the fucking chart. So fuck them scandalous ass women. Next, track 14, Need You Most. Two songs left. Come on now. <laughs>
If you're thinking to yourself, huh, that sounds familiar, it's because it's sampled from Neo's So Sick, and Kid Leroy did an amazing fucking job sampling it, and yet still made it his own. And Kid Leroy has found himself to make a badass love album. I mean, seriously, that's what this fucking album's about. Love, heartache. I, well, I don't even know what the fuck to say at this point, dude. We're 14 tracks in. We got one left. Nothing bad yet. And this is uh, an amazing fucking album so far. And I wish Kid Leroy nothing but the best of luck. And hopefully, fame and money is healing your fucking heart. Next. All right, we have fucking made it. We are at the end of the road. Track 15, Selfish. Last song on the fucking album. Let's see if he can do it. Let's see if this can be another fucking banger and not have a single bad track on the album. I'm ready. Let's get it. <laughs> Know what you did to me. I'm grateful for what you did for me. And I know you see the pain in my eyes. Every secret and lie. Got a reason to cry for I sleep at night. Now I'ma be savage. But you made it happen. And you made it happen. Why can't I get back? Can I change up the best one? I just feel sorry for my next one. I'm Track 15, Selfish, dope fucking song. What I really liked about that is how they fucking built it up. And it just, I don't know, man, it kind of let the song breathe. And when you do that, I feel like it allows you to make more of a connection to the song. And Kid Leroy, I mean, his voice just has a way of fucking pulling you in, making you perk up your fucking ears and listening. So, I mean, can he make a bad song? So great fucking way to finish out this fucking album. Two fucking Shay to the Kid Leroy. I mean, would you hate me if I say he just made a classic fucking album? Is there a song you guys didn't like? on this. Now, I know there was, so there was four skits. I really don't take away anything from him for having four skits. Again, I like having skits on an album. Uh, I know maybe another thing you could kind of nick him on is a handful of songs were really fucking short, right around two minutes, but it was two minutes of pure fucking awesomeness, so I'm okay with it. I can't give this album even one ounce of negative criticism. I had the bar set really fucking high for this album and just did it not go to that fucking bar. It exceeded my fucking fucking expectations for this album. I'll tell you what, man. So I did a full album reaction to Logic's new album, No Pressure, 15 songs. We just reacted to this full album, 15 songs. And if I'm being fucking 100% honest, I might give the edge to this fucking album, dude. And I don't know if it's just because I think Kid Leroy has more catchy songs. Maybe it's a little bit more mainstream. I don't know. That's a fucking tough one because Logic's fucking album was absolutely fucking epic too. But I gotta say though, my absolute favorite song on the album Album is Go featuring Juice World, beautiful fucking song. And then following that up with Tell Me Why, dedicating it to Juice World was also really fucking amazing. I think my third next favorite song would be Not Fair with Corbin. Uh, that one just literally came out of nowhere. I was not expecting it. I loved everything about it. So those are my top three favorite songs on the album, which is dope as fuck. So you guys know what's happening next. Let's give this album a fucking grade. It don't have one bad track. I gotta give this a 93. Congrats Kid Leroy on a dope fucking album. But let me know in the comments what you guys think if you're fucking with the album or not Or if you agreed with my grade and let me know what's your favorite songs on the fucking album And with that being said, please help support the fucking channel by hitting that subscribe and like button And hit that bell and become part of my notification gang and join the best fucking family on YouTube I appreciate every single fucking one of you guys. Thank you And again the full song reactions to go and tell me why will be at the top of the description check them out They're both pretty fucking dope and if you enjoyed this reaction, go ahead and check out my full album reaction to Logic's new album, No Pressure. And if you fuck with Juice World's music, check out my full album reaction to Legends Never Die, which I think is gonna win album of the fucking year because it's that fucking good. I hope you guys have a great fucking weekend. Stay safe out there and have a good one. And remember, it's eat, sleep, and make beats. And as usual, be kind to one another. And that's all the fuck I got. Boom! I'm out! Uh! Got nothing but love for you motherfuckers! Woo! Hot soft beats! Woo!